Does where you buy your Kona quilting cotton really matter? Let's find out. I bought two half yard pieces of Kona cotton in the color Aruba, one from a big box store and one from a small boutique. These are the testing ideas that you all submitted. The first thing I'm gonna do is mark each one of our samples so we can keep track and then we're going to measure these. Already I'm noticing that sample A has a little bit more of a jagged edge where it was cut. I'm trimming both of these down to exactly 18 inches which is of course the half yard mark. Both of them were generous cuts, about 19 inches each. Now let's check the width of the fabric. We expect quilting cotton to be at least 42 inches wide. This is sample B folded in half. We are over 22 inches. So this one is a little bit over 44. That's great. Now let's check sample A and see if they are the same. Again, folded in half. Ah, sample A is nearly 23 inches. So A is longer than B. Time to test for shrinkage. Both samples are gonna go into the washer and out of the dryer. Let's see what kind of fraying and shrinkage we're working with here. All fabric is going to fray when it's been washed and dried, but we need to know how many inches of material we may have lost in this process. So this is sample A. Aha, here's our knot of threads that have come loose in the wash. We are seeing some fraying a little over a quarter of an inch along the edge. I'm gonna trim up these threads on both pieces and then we will measure again. Before we measure, we wanna clean up all of this frayed area so we're left with the usable fabric. All right, remember that we started with 18 inches we can see that sample B has survived the pre-wash a little bit better, just about a quarter of an inch. The shrinkage test is done. Time to check the weight. I've cut our samples down to exactly the same size but smaller pieces. This is a kitchen scale. Sample A weighs four grams. And now sample B, again, they're exactly the same size. And it weighs four grams. The best way to see how much light comes through fabric is to use a natural light source like a window. So I've taped our samples up to my window here so we can get a better look. Here's A, close up, and B. I might be inclined to think that A is just a shade darker. What do you think? Okay, it's time for the fray test. What I find causes my fabric to fray the most is when I'm using my seam ripper a lot. So I'm gonna sew these two samples together. We've got A and B, and then I'm gonna rip them apart maybe five times, and then we'll check in and see how we're doing. I'll go ahead and speed up the video here. You don't wanna watch me seam rip this in real time, do you? If only it went this fast. All right, these seams have been sewn and unpicked five times. Let's see what we've got. This is sample A. It's definitely some light fraying along the edge. Just get these threads out of the way. It's a little bit worse here towards the end. All right, sample B. 
some fraying as you would expect. Also a little worse at the end. I would say that the fraying on these two are pretty similar. Well, we're gonna finish our Kona comparison experiment here in my backyard. We've got our swatches, we've got fire, and uh, we have a hose in case our experiment gets a little bit too exciting. So we're gonna light each one of our swatches on fire. Cotton is a natural fiber, it should burn. Unlike a, um, a rayon or polyester, which are more like plastic, and they would melt. So the burn test is gonna confirm that these are 100% cotton. And thank you to a follower who suggested this test because I never would have thought of this uh, on my own. So let's burn them. Okay, your swatch A. Let's do it. Oh no! Oh, here we go. All right, we are on fire. Ooh, we are burning. It smells very much like a bonfire. Let's speed this video up just a little. I would say that's 100% cotton. Wow, look at that. All gone. All right, let's do B. Got a little thread loose on this one, okay. All right, here we go. Yes, definitely on fire. Oh, it gets hot. Well, the remnant of the great Kona experiment, one tiny little piece of singe cloth. So what's the outcome of our Kona comparison experiment? To me, I think we've confirmed that these are great materials and that wherever you source them from, they are a fantastic addition to your quilt. What matters most is that you enjoy the process and that you feel great about what you're making. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this experiment helpful. Like and subscribe for more.